we are calculating here the moment of inertia the, the due to the parallel axis theorem. Okay. What is parallel axis theorem? Uh, with this parallel axis theorem, we will calculate the moment of inertia of the body or the laminas. It means we will have two axes here in the body. Let us consider let us consider a body of this size, the lamina. Join O to P is a distance R. O to P is a distance R. Okay. And what is the moment of inertia of the particle P? The moment of inertia of the particle P is so I at O can be written as mass square. M is mass of the particle, R is the distance between the axis of rotation and the particle where we have considered. That is mass square. So, to calculate this R square, consider a triangle. This triangle OP, I will take somewhere here. A, OP, A. Consider a triangle OPA. This uh, I will call it as this is G at the center, and this distance here to here is called as H. This is H. And this particle P, distance of the particle P from the center of gravity is called as say Y. Y is the distance between G I P. Calculate the distance of, let us consider this triangle O P A. From triangle O P A, this triangle, this I will take this as equation 1, O P A. Then what is uh, O P square? This O and this is P. O P square from this triangle, O P square. So, 
the square of this is equal to sum of the square of this and uh, this. That is O A square plus A B square. This is O A square plus A B square is O P square. O P square. So what is O P square? O P square is R square. And this is R square is equal to what is O A square is? O A square is X and H. So X plus H whole square plus A P square. And what is R square is this is A plus B whole square is A square plus B square plus 2 A B. Hence it is x square plus so x square plus 2xh plus ap square ap square okay and what is this h square and ap square h square plus ap square can be written as y square Therefore, this x square plus 2xh plus h square ap square. This h square plus ap square can be written as y square. Therefore, this is x square plus 2xh plus y square is nothing but r square. This is equation 2. And calculate what is I or M is to calculate I, I is moment of inertia of the whole body. Moment of inertia of the whole body at the axis of rotations O at the axis of rotation O. Therefore, I naught is equal to from equation 1. From equation 1, what is I naught? Therefore, I naught is equal to sum of the sum of we'll write this sum of this mass and what is R square? R square from the equation R square is x square plus y square plus this two x h two x h so this if you take i naught is equal to summation m r square r square is this values okay and this gives actually the total moment of inertia of whole lamina the moment of at the axis of rotation o hence i naught is equal to the summation m is called as total mass total mass m summation that can be written as m x square summation m x square plus summation m y square plus summation 2 m x h and this can be written as summation m x square can be written as m x square plus summation m y can be written as m y square y square this can be written as moment of inertia so I can write directly m y square first and this is 2m summation x h here this m y square can be written as this is I naught here summation m y square is nothing but m g is nothing but m g I summation x h is equal to 0 if this is yes, x is equal to 0 this term becomes 0 and what is this mx square 
and x square thing is nothing but moment of inertia. Okay, at O. So therefore, why this is zero is this is at x is the moment of inertia or acceleration due to gravity at the center of gravity g is constant at the center of the body. If g is constant, this summation x s x h is equal to zero. Therefore. Uh, what we can write finally is I naught is I naught is equal to I g plus m x square. What is this? M x square is the final result. If this term is zero, x h summation x s is zero. This is nothing but mg. Mg is okay. This is mg. Sorry, this is not mg. This is ig. Moment of inertia. Ig. That I have taken here. This is ig, and this is m square. This term is zero. Okay. Hence, the moment of inertia. Of the whole lamina or body is sum equal to is equal to sum of the moment of inertia at the center of gravity and the product of the moment of product of mass of the whole body and the square of the distance between square of the distance between the two parallel axes. So this is called as what is the moment of inertia of the whole lamina. Due to the parallel axis theorem. Okay, I will continue the next class to calculate moment of inertia of the rod, thin uniform rod in the next class. Okay, thank you.